almost off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Kwakwadash, the Lord is my teacher, the Apostle of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, and shalom to the one third Yashawala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, I want to go ahead and get into a recent event that happened uh, that comes from this religion known as atheism. Now, this atheism religion is a snare by the devil set up that is purported to be a non-religion, basically letting science be your, be your guide to truth. Now, I used to count myself alongside with these people, but I considered myself more of agnostic. Uh, knowing that, um, knowing that um, there was something above us, but knowing that the truth, or that the that the church gave it was not it. Now, um, what I want to say is, it wasn't until after looking into things a little further that I found that. Atheism was nothing more than uh, another religion in itself. Uh, it didn't look past any theological um, arguments that tend, tended to uh, to uh, to beat the atheist view. Or, or uh, and, and since then, it's basically been turning into uh, you know a bit from a pursuit of science into a pursuit of, of Satanism. Because again, when it first came out, is this guy here, Charles Darwin. When you look into his history, you find out that he's actually related back to this devil, uh, John D. Rockefeller, the uh, guy who's the Edomite who standard, started Standard Oil. Now, they're ultimately related, and it was uh, the, the Rockefeller Foundation or that funded Darwin and his papers to come up with this theory of evolution. Now, the theory of evolution that Charles Darwin came up with, it's not evolution. It's better uh, explained as adaptation, right? Evolution refers to, let's say, a, um, a, uh, a dog becoming a, a bird one day, right? Or evolving into something else, one kind going into another, but that's not possible. Uh, even our own science shows that only um, um, adaptation is possible, where you'll have a wolf who evolves into a dog, uh, and then other than that, you have uh, uh, you have now. Let me get the scripture. This is Second Corinthians two and eleven. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is why, because ultimately, the atheist society, which purports to not be a religion, is ultimately showing out for the Satanist, uh, Satanist religion, right? Here you go on the 6th, just yesterday, they came out and says, In the Satanic Temple's holiday sculpture at the Illinois capital, Eve, instances visitors with a fruit of knowledge how do you like them apples and these people here for the new atheists they, they're really um, saying this but they don't even realize it right they don't know that they're actually bowing down to the, the, these dark forces even though they believe that they're following just science there is a new sculpture in the state capital rotunda and it isn't the nativity scene or the menorah the satanic temple chicago chapter just put up their own display it depicts a hand holding an apple with a serpent wrapped around the wrist the plaque below reads knowledge is the greatest gift i don't see a problem with that it. it seems like it's part of freedom of speech and it doesn't and of course this guy wouldn't see a problem with it because this guy's a devil he's what you would know today as a, as as a so-called caucasian but his line goes back to the biblical Edomites, the people who were purported to, that are going to rule the world in the last days and also be be a culmination of all wickedness that has come out of the line of Adam, right? All the wickedness and, and bad parts out of Adam have ultimately been filtered out 
collecting the human, human uh, humanity into a, one particular people known as the Edomites, which is why they're going to be destroyed. Project the bad message. The Satanic Temple Chicago chapter says their organization aims to encourage kindness and understanding among all people. Uh, I suppose it is their free speech rights to do that, so I can't deny that, but do I agree with it? Absolutely not. You know, I can't disagree with the statement in itself, but when that's coming from a satanic or an occult group, uh, my response would be that everything about Satan is a lie. Despite the message the satanic organization is trying to get out to the public, some people aren't buying it. Uh, he is the greatest deceiver, and uh, that's what he's all about. While some people recognize the freedom of expression, others just don't agree with it. There is a such thing as freedom of speech, but I think that is a little too far, in my opinion. There are other places that they can put it that's more discreet. I think that's really inappropriate. It's not something that should be displayed for a, a lot of people um, to be offended by. I'm, I would be offended by that myself. So here we go. We've got so again. Ultimately, see, you even have this lady here, uh, who appears to be an Edomite, but again, because of her stance and her spiritual stance, knowing that this is not right, more than likely she comes from the line of an Israelite, right? since she has that spiritual judgment or righteous judgment, right? Where the other Edomite you had seen earlier, he thought it was perfectly fine, right? He because he probably came back from probably a little children in his, in, his, in his basement, right? So this guy is a damn devil, right? Now, these a atheists who say that this is not a religion, let me read this. The secular anti-God religion of atheism is growing. Atheism is all around us in various forms. It is practiced and funded by almost all government schools and essence. Atheism has become the religion of the state and it pervades the media, courts, museums, textbooks, internet, science journals, and influence of many people in the encounter. And this is ultimately why most people are, are, um, are drawn to atheism, right? Because atheism ultimately is knowledge, right? Or it, it purports to be about knowledge. And the thing about that is that it's very seductive, right? Because ultimately it leads you to being like these like this cartoon depicts, right? You have all these people who think they're wise, but they're ultimately pushed towing the line of being an anti, you know, being an uh, antichrist, being an antichrist spirit, you know? Um, it says, while well, atheism is blind faith that follows, followers will cry out, we are not part of a religion. Why do they plead this? First, if atheism will identify as religion, atheists fear that the views might get kicked out of public places like government run schools second uh, these secularists will be less likely likely to be able to deceive children into thinking that their teachings supposedly natural neutral are not in conflict with the religious beliefs of the students this is second Thessalonians 2 and 2 that ye be not soon shaken in mind or troubled neither by spirit nor by words nor by letters as from us as that the day of the Messiah is at hand let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first which we already have it, since the Negro Latinos made it easy no longer know that there is rights and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition and that's exactly what's happening right now is that that man of sin is being revealed and who's that man of sin he's the son of perdition the son of destruction the son of the the, the, the seed of satan that's who is being revealed um in the uh, the abominable acts here right in, in doing this um Satanist stuff, right? This is these are these Edomites, right? The people who are out here pushing this atheist, atheistic uh, view, which really is just a it's a it's an arrow. It's arrows being shot in secret by the devil and his people. This is Romans one and eighteen, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who who hold.
know the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known by God is manifest in them, for God hath shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither uh, were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise and became fools, and changed the glory, and changed the glory of the corruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men, and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. So basically, these atheists, you know, even though they're surrounded by uh, by the marvelous things of this world, uh, even their quantum physics uh, shows the works of God from the double double slit experiments, uh, which cannot be explained, uh, the quantum entanglement, um, 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 the, qu the quantum entanglement, um, a test that they run that they can't explain, right? These things they see, but like it tells you here, it says, but for their, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish hearts were darkened, right? And they and they seen this, and they should have been when they see these truths. They should have, when they see these anomalies, they should have realized that this is from a higher power. So what do they do instead of attributing <laughs> it to God? They go off and and, 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 and use their their vain imaginations and stuff. So hopefully this video was edifying on you. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Papadash, the one who teaches the apostle great Muslim, peace and mercy to the left. Don't let Satan deceive you off him. He's going to pull out all the tricks to uh, try to get you to fall for his tricks, right? So don't be like these idiots here, including some of these jakes who uh, blindly say that they're atheists, but they're really just agnostic, more likely. But uh, if you look at this image, this is mostly. A bunch of Edomites who uh, have no understanding of, of the higher spiritual power. Till the next time, shalom.